The mission of the Gold Star Mothers is finding strength in the fellowship of other Gold Star Mothers who strive to keep the memory of our sons and daughters alive by working to help veterans, those currently serving in the military, their families, and our communities. So who is a Gold Star Mother? Often the question has been asked, who is a Gold Star Mother? During the early days of World War I, a blue star was used to represent each person, man or woman, in the military service of the United States. As the war progressed and men were killed in combat, others wounded and died of their wounds of disease, there came about the accepted usage of the gold star. This gold star was substituted and superimposed upon the blue star in such a manner as to entirely cover it. The idea of the gold star was that the honor and glory accorded to the person for his supreme sacrifice in offering for his country the last full measure of devotion and pride of the family in this sacrifice, rather than the sense of personal loss, which would be represented by the mourning symbols. So how it all started. On June 4, 1928, a group of 25 mothers residing in Washington, D.C. met to make plans to organize a national organization to be known as the American Gold Star Mothers, Inc., a non-denominational, non-profitable, and non-political organization. On January 5, 1929, the organization was incorporated under the laws of the District of Columbia. The charter was kept open for 90 days. At the end of this time, they had a membership of 65, which included mothers throughout the United States, North, South, East, and West. There were many small groups of Gold Star Mothers functioning under local and state charters. When these groups learned of a national organization with representation in nearly every state in the Union, they wished to affiliate with the larger group, and many did so. This group was composed of women who had lost a son or daughter in World War I. So, what happened after World War I? During the 1942 National Convention of American Gold Star Mothers, the membership was open to mothers who had lost a son or daughter in World War II, and it was again opened after the Korean conflict. Many families display a banner honoring their family members that are serving or who have been killed in action. Each blue star on the flag represents a service member in active duty. A gold star is displayed if a service member is killed in action or dies in service. If several stars are displayed by one family, the gold star takes the honor of being placed at the top. This memorial was made possible from a grant from David Hackley, who is honored with a bench as part of the memorial. David was an adventurer who had a passion for the outdoors, the skies, and world history. David was an accomplished historian with a particular interest in the area of military history who traveled the world in pursuit of battleground memorials, aviation museums, and famous historical sites. He visited many of these areas and sites with beloved friends and family, especially his grandchildren. Soldiers Walk was a favorite destination for David and his extended family.